Hello, this is Cheryl Wilson and I'm an abstract artist. And today, this is a very short video, only about six or seven minutes. I wanted to briefly answer a question that somebody asked me on how I got organized as an artist. And this is just one way that I get organized myself as an artist. I have fun with it, it's easy, and in the video you'll see some of the benefits of why I do my organization this way. But I hope you enjoy the video and I hope it's of some help. And um, at least it's a fun way to um, be a little bit creative and enjoy your journey. to show you it's it's um I, I love the comments I get and I get a lot of comments in my um inbox where people want to ask me a question not necessarily on my YouTube channel but just ask me a question so one of the questions somebody asked me is how do I organize myself and I've organized myself a number of different ways throughout the years since I'm home and my studio is here in my home I have an entire um, area that I use just for my studio I can spread myself out I actually have a art studio and then I have an office that I um, when I had my corporate world I use the office so I use that to do all my social media my typing my blogs and all that and then I have my studio but one of the things I do to organize myself, uh, organize myself lately is I have things in notebooks and these are great because they're smaller and I can grab one or two of them when I'm heading out the door to go to a doctor's appointment and I know I've got to wait and I just want to take notes. Um, I'll take a couple of them with me when I'm sitting there watching um, some training or some other YouTube videos. So they all have a different purpose, and when I use them up, you can see one of these um, has a, a, a date on the bottom. I put a date, and I'll put a date on, on se in several places so I know when I start and when I end. Um, but I love this. Um, and what I do is I start with just a regular notebook, and I got these on Amazon. This happens to be a wide rule. I get like six of them. They're like a dollar a piece. And um, I love notebooks. Now I do have journals. Journaling for my art is different. This is doing um, my organization. And these are my paintings where I've printed them off. Sometimes I'll even paint over these, but I print them off and just tape them down to a notebook. And then I'll put on the bottom what exactly that particular notebook is meant for. This one is basically to do so um, I'll grab it when I'm trying to just write down what I'm going to do for that particular day. Um, this one's my quotations and my thoughts um, and I take this one with me a lot when I'm thinking about even some title, painting titles I'll put in here. Um, this one I even put tabs on it and this is when I'm um, watching a YouTube video or I'm taking a training or um, you know course then I'll write my notes in here and this one are just ideas and this is just kind of a, a catch-all but these are all my paintings it just inspires me to see my paintings this one uh, I've had several renditions of this one before this is a more intense notebook I guess you could call it and in here I have like a flap in the front um, but I do like um, like daily activities I have um, some sheets that I have recorded and I mean this is even personal um, you know things that um, I I say um a lot don't I things that I'm working on in my personal life and I think that's why I have the building stones 
is even like my weight loss journey, my eating habits, how much water I drink during the day, things like that. I even incorporate in that in one of my um, sheets. So it's, um, it's a way to keep me focused on what I'm doing and keep me honest in my journey. So, and, and it's, it's fun. So I just have these, they're thin. So I just have these on a shelf. Um, I've had different notebook scenarios in the past, but I find this one is, is one of the ones I love the best. And I'll probably keep this for a while. Um, these black canvases I'm going to be doing a video next for YouTube, but I thought I'd share this with you in case it's something that you might want to incorporate into your practice. And I was asked by, actually I was asked by mail, um, how I organize myself. So I hope this, I hope this helps, um, him and helps some of the others that might be looking for a way to organize their art journey.